Hello and welcome to this course on Tally ERP9 and in this video we will learn about inventory management. Alright, so I have gone ahead and created some inventory in this company. Let me show you. I'm going to stock items, going to display and these are the items that I've created. Now I'll show you how you can create your own. So I'm going to shut this company and go to another company say super llp all right now over here we need to go to gateway of tally and then go to inventory info to create our inventory but there are processes that we need to follow before that let me tell you that this video is brought to you by template monster who are teaching you how to create your own online store. The link for creating this free online store is in the description. Now, like I was saying, to create your inventory, you will have to first follow a few steps. First of those steps is going to inventory info. All right. Once we go there, then we see this stock groups, stock items, Units of measure, voucher types, and quit. Well, of course, we should never quit. <laughs> so, now, you see, if we have highlighted this, then G is in red color. Over here, I is in red color. Over here, U is in red color. This means that this is the shortcut for this specific action. So, if I press G, then stock groups would open. But why do we need to open stock groups when we need to create stock items? Well, because to create stock items, we have to first create stock groups. So I'm going to press G. Now it says create and C is highlighted. We can create groups in two ways, either single groups or multiple groups at a time. So the process is the same. It's just that you can create multiple groups here together. I'm going to create one group at a time. Simple. All right. Now. You have to create groups so that you can segregate your items. Like you have detergents, correct? Then you can put the brands of detergents over there. Then you have soaps. Then you can put the brands of soaps over there. Then you have perfumes. All right, you got my idea? So let's create soaps. All right. You can give it an alias if you want. No, we don't want that. Currently, it will be under primary group. Okay, let's do that. Should quantities of items be added? Not right now. We will do this later. Accept this. It's created. I'll create another one. Uh, detergents. Primary. Yes. One more. Let's create vegetables also. All right, it's done. I'm pressing escape now. Now we'll go to display. See, these are the groups that have been created now. Detergent, soaps, vegetables. All right, let's go to soaps. Here we can now see whatever is written over here. And in case I want to edit them, I can edit them. If I want to write something, so instead of soaps, I want say beauty soaps, I can write that. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to create items. Click on stock items. Click on create. Now it asks you for a name. So let's give it a name, say. Let's invent a soap, all right? My soap, invent it. Now important aspect, under primary, no, under soaps. And then units, not applicable as of now. I'll explain about units in a minute. And date of duty, we will co be covering this in the upcoming videos. Opening balance, you want to show some opening balance? Let's say 5. Yes. 
create another product mm. we create a detergent right so let's create surf under detergents units not applicable rate of duty not right now no opening balance yes let's create one more and we had created perfumes my perfume and this will go in oh sorry i'm going back we had created vegetables correct so i'm going to create vegetables so this would be what vegetable you want to eat potato all right this will go in vegetables done i'm pressing escape and now we can see them my soap potato surf see pressing escape again now what we are going to do is we are going to create a unit of measures because once you've created the stock group then you've created the stock item then you have to sell them correct now you have to sell them according to a unit like vegetables might be sold based on kgs and soaps may be sold based on units correct so let's create unit of measures only then can you sell something and manage something in tally so go to create so it's first simple or compound we'll keep it simple all right the symbol like say kg formal name kilogram decimal places like grams can be three decimal places right so i'll give mention three yes and then i'll mention piece per piece all right no decimal places so these are the two units i've created okay press escape now let's go to stock items let's go to alter my soap units now this will be sold per piece see isn't this cool opening balance five automatically it says five piece similarly potato it will be sold per kg see opening balance 15 it automatically says 15 kg in three decimal places surf again we may choose to sell it by piece or kg depending on whatever you want so i'll sell it by kg okay and my quantity is 45 so this way i have gone ahead created my stock groups then created my item and then created my unit see the approach is top to down you create the big thing first then the small thing then the small thing that's the idea well i hope you like this video if you do then do share it comment upon it and subscribe to my channel so that you will be aware about the new videos that come your way also do go to my channel my website www.myelesson.org to learn other topics also well until the next video now this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning